Hey, if I can, you can actually play. <laughs> I got a little what? Press A? I, I don't know. Doesn't work if I press A, but anyway, I hope. Hope I'm not bothered well with this. Not bothered. But this is stories, Path of Destinies. I saw this in the um, Steam shop. It was about well for about. Uh, Three euros for me at least. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I thought it looked pretty nice. <laughs> you know, it looked good on the uh, on the videos that I had on the uh, on the uh, <laughs> Steam store. So I I picked it up actually, you know, just to see how it really was. But you know, it, it looked good for me to me. So um, without anything else. There? Okay, I gotta press on the book. Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the Emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. But then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods, midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. Okay, so a pirate or whatever it is, the fox was, uh, you know, yes. Oh, I just did this, you know, whatever it was, you know, plundered some some ship or whatever it was, and then yes, okay, I can I just sit home and relax, right? But hey ho, you can't risk it if you promise not to die in the in the gallows, then. Sit home and relax, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, the the kid was split. looking down, watching his city burn. Sorry, kid, Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Ah, oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renato had to run after him. Do I really know? Oh, okay. One of those games. We know why. I think the last game I actually played there was this, this uh, press to move. Now I don't know if I should press left or right. Whatever. Um, I think it was Diablo 3 or whatever it's called. I doubt it, but some Diablo game that you press and you move. Okay, so that one is attack. You don't hear many of these normal names and like Peter stuff like that. Uh, which way did he... The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. <laughs> hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the emperor! The ravens called. <laughs> someone as ugly as you. <laughs> That's nice. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Uh, wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Okay, so pressing and moving upwards with a block. 
Is that what it's trying to tell me? No, I have no idea. I have no idea how to fucking block, but hey, oh, fucking go for it. No. I did not get it. I did not get it at all. Uh, which way did he go, though? A dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. Seeing how I just stopped in the middle of the bridge, <laughs> I do think they saw me. Oh, I press on them. I have no idea if I actually get this up. So press. Oh. <coughs> oh, the to grab. Oh, holy shit! Yeah, that's really so you do it. Oh, okay. Oh, right. The gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renardo going to get a hero sword? From a hero, I guess. <laughs> really? A <laughs> shop. A shop. Or and wind essence? That sounds about right. I'll need a workshop though. Oh, that's a workshop. That's fucked. Ah, Looks badass. <laughs> so I can't. I can't imagine what level two will look like. <laughs> Uh, uh, Hero sword. Q E D. Hero sword. All right. So let's just see what else is this. Okay, I can heal myself next time. Okay. So now he got uh, this very heavy sword as he has in the trailer. This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes even when he didn't know he'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. Is that spider web? No, it's it's no. <laughs> he came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. <laughs> How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hole? It's hawk? a rabbit. I harped, said the kid. Wise ass kid. <laughs> hey, look out behind you. <laughs> Cute said Renato. Ah, oh, ravens. I still have no idea on how to fuck the block. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just 
took his way across the ledge and chased the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. He'd done it. Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Oh, I'm, I'm really hurt. But that's the, because I did not... I guess when they when this question not the question mark but that mark comes up I should click on them. I'm supposed that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh. Um to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. We're high up. There's no way we can really move the camera to a different place. Oops. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. So the salesman told him, and something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid, and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it, and a goggler nailed him with its eye beam. Oh. Okay, um... What the fuck happened with Peter? Did he die or the book was unburned. What? Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and the kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid will be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renato picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. Oh, Peter. Poor, poor Peter. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Poured the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life. It cawed. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that, were only the pillars of heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. 
Maybe he could. Renato had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. Hmm. I think this is the safer. I think this is actually the uh, safer option for now. Uh. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. All right, so I think actually I'm gonna cut it off right here, and um, you know I hope you all enjoyed. And there we popped a save. That's really good too. Pino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse; he'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had... had everybody fled the ravens? So, as I said, I hope you all enjoyed, and I was hoping I liked this. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Farewell. <laughs>